Hey y'all, it's Teeny with Real Southern Woman. Tonight is Monday. And I have been reading our Bible study. Um, it is 9.10. I'm a little early, but we are in uh, Pensacola. So I wanted to get on here and get off. I'm actually going to go and take a look at my friend Missy Patty's page and see what she's got for sale. Because I love looking at paparazzi. I just do. I can't help it. Um, you can see behind me that um, I did buy the photo of the bird and I hung her in the bedroom down here and she's really pretty and um, it looks really nice. I will show you guys that when we get finished with our study, okay? I'll show you all around the house when we get finished. I'm going to post some new pictures on Zillow of the house. We had somebody come and look today. Um, she really liked it. She wants to get someone to come and um, do an inspection of the roof. And then we've got somebody coming, um, another person coming this week, and then we've got somebody coming Monday. So we've just got a real busy week, and I'm getting notifications. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about the first, these chapters in Genesis we've been talking about. Um, excuse me. The last time I got to talk with you guys, it has been quite a few days. I... Um, I'm finally back and can chat with you guys. I'm going to uh, go back a little bit, okay? And um, we're going to talk. Every time we get to talk, we get to talk about something, of course, we grew up listening to when we were even children in church. Or um, maybe even if we weren't in church, we probably heard a story about it. But... Um, the last time we talked, we talked about Dinah and how um, she was taken advantage of and her brothers did a terrible thing and they, um, my glasses are glaring so I think I'm going to take them off for a minute. Um, her brothers did a terrible thing and they killed the, the men. Now, I look back because it was, um, the brothers, Leah and Rachel's children, but the, the children that wound up being the really mean children were Leah's children, and if you will remember, um, when, I'm trying to, I can't even think. Let me put, put my glasses back on. Okay. <laughs> when Jacob, when Jacob worked for Rachel, he got Leah first. Remember, it was a trick. Well, Leah's the one that bore sons first, and she was the one that had, it was um, her firstborn wound up being um, bad. He wound up sleeping with his daddy's cocky, somebody uh, like somebody in his concubine. Okay? Reuben, I believe, was his name. Then there's Simeon, Simeon and Levi were the two guys that wound up going into this city and sl slaying all of these men, taking reve revenge against um, the, what they did with Dinah, okay? So these were the children of Leah, okay? Just, I, I wanted to go back and see because I was like, you know, he had so many kids. I was like, which one of these kids, you know, did this lineage come from? That they were just mean as the devil, you know what I mean? And it was actually Leah's kids, and she was the one that that was the trick, you know, that he was tricked into marrying. Um, Rachel actually has Jacob and Benjamin, and um, so I am going to talk a little bit about the next couple of chapters. Um, 
we talked about the chapter where Dinah was uh, taken advantage of and what those two boys did and how terrible that was. Then they talk about the generations of Esau, and that's just name after name after name, and you know how that gets. Then we go to the next chapter, and um, it talks about Jacob um, going and moving his kids and telling his kids to put away their idols. And boy, they probably needed to. Apparently, they were pretty mean. And um, But then we get to the chapter of 37. And we all know Joseph was his favorite because he was the baby. And he made him the coat of many colors. And he has these dreams. And he tells his brothers about these dreams he's having. And his brothers are very jealous, okay? And they decide they're going to kill him. So let's see which brothers decide they're going to kill him. I was going to look that up. Um, I was going to say if it says, sorry y'all, I don't think it says, I think it just says which one uh, kept them from killing him. Anyway, let's Come now, therefore, and let us slay him. They said to one another, Behold, this dreamer cometh. And um, it says, Come now, therefore, and let us slay him, and cast him into some pit, and we will say, Some evil beast has devoured him, and we uh, shall see what will become of his dreams. And Reuben heard it, and he delivered he delivered him out of their hands and said, let us not kill him. Now, Reuben is the firstborn, and Reuben is the one who slept with his dad's uh, woman. I guess you'd call her. So he was a bad guy, too, but at least he was sweet enough to say, let's not kill him. So I'm kind of proud of Reuben. All right, and so he delivered him out of them killing him. Okay, and tells them that, you know, they shouldn't kill him. Now, then there's, uh, then, then we get on down here, and they see the merchant men coming into the town, and they decide they're going to sell it, okay? And that way, they they said their his blood wouldn't be on their hands. And uh, they sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver, and uh, Reuben returned unto the pit, and behold, um, oh, wait a minute. Apparently, Reuben wasn't part of the thing, because it says, Reuben returned into the pit, and behold, Joseph was not in the pit, and he rent his clothes. He returned to his brother, and he said, the child is not and I, whether shall I go? And they took Joseph's coat, and they killed a kid of the goats, and dipped the coat in the blood, and they sent the coat of many colors, um, and they brought it to the father, and they they just tricked their daddy, and they said, Daddy, you know, some animal got him. And so poor Jacob um, thought, thought that um, Joseph was dead, okay? But we know Joseph went dead, and God had plans for him. So Jacob winds up being sold, and he is a slave. But he becomes, he's blessed by God, and he does really well in the home. Um, he, we go to the next chapter, and of all things, bless his heart. After he gets through all of this with his brothers... He winds up, then they talk about something that happens 
with uh, Judah's kids and his family. Judah was the firstborn. Uh, no, not the firstborn. He was the uh, he was one of Leah's kids, though. Uh, Reuben was the firstborn. Anyway, we go to the next chapter, and it talks about Joseph and how he was with Potiphar and how God was with him, but Potiphar's wife decides she's got the hots for him. And she keeps on trying to get Joseph to lay with her. And Joseph tells her he don't want to lay with her, that Potiphar likes him. Why in the world would he commit that sin against God? You know, and he, and he tries to stay clear of her. I mean, he's a good guy, for heaven's sakes. And, I mean, she seduces the poor guy. And he's, he's a good man. And she gets mad because she makes a way that no men are in the house. And he refuses her. So it makes her mad. And she tells her husband that he's tried to rape her. So Joseph is thrown into prison. Now, we're going to stop there. But we're going to talk about that. Because bless this man's heart. Think about it. This kid, Joseph, he's blessed by God. But think about it. He has dreams. His his his. Brothers don't like him. He is um, sold into slavery. He gets put in a good position. Now this woman seduces him. He does the right thing and still gets put into prison. He does the right thing and he winds up in prison. And you think, um, it's driving me crazy because my glasses are glaring. And you think, why? Why is God doing this to me when I'm doing the right thing? Bless his heart. You know what I mean? I mean, I can't imagine being Joseph. And, um, I mean, you look at Paul in the New Testament and Paul does the right thing, and Paul is persecuted, and Paul is put in prison. But we know why Paul is because of the gospel. But here we have Joseph, and the same thing is happening to him, and people don't even know. The gospel, it, the gospel doesn't have anything to do with it. In other words, what I'm trying to say is just because you're a Christian and just because you're doing the right thing doesn't mean everything's going to be peachy. Not only does it mean that, that everything's... It, it means that it's very possible that things are not going to go just right. Why? Because God can't show others around you how powerful he is if everything is always perfect okay how can you how can God work and show people how real he is when life is always easy so um, I think that Lots of times we have to be put in situations so that only God can be the one that makes things happen or gets us out of situations or mends something or pulls us through or etc. And that is what is about to happen with Joseph. Okay, jo The story of Joseph and the coat of many colors and his brothers is absolutely amazing. This is a story that if you are not reading and if you have not been following what we're reading, I suggest you go back and start right here and don't miss this part, okay? So if you haven't been reading, then go back and know, just, just know this, his mom and dad met 
and um, he was born and start with this chapter where his brothers are jealous and his daddy he's the baby so his daddy makes him a coat of many colors well, look at chapter 37 and start right here and let's see how God works in this kid's life it is unbelievable so um, it is nice it is fun it is amazing and I have to say that I came on here today and I said a bad word earlier because I'm real and <laughs> I was frustrated and if you don't know what I said then just go back and watch the first of my last video and you'll see it and um, I shouldn't have said it but I mean I'm real and I'm not gonna act like I'm not real and I'm not going to just because I do a Bible study doesn't mean I'm perfect and it doesn't mean I'm always going to be perfect. I'm not I'm not even as good as my husband because he would have never done it. He never says anything bad. But I'm just not like my husband. I'm just who I am and y'all can take it or leave it. God knows who I am. He knows I'm not perfect and you know what? He loves me anyway. <laughs> oh, thank God he does. Um so, I'm going to that's going to be it for today. Um I'm sorry that I said the bad word. I felt bad after I said it. I probably should. I, mean, I know I shouldn't have said it. But um, that's life. And I'm real. And it's real life. And you're, if y'all are going to watch Real Southern Woman, y'all are going to see every part of my real self. Okay? Not just the fake things. It's not just a show. It is the real thing. Okay? So if you can't handle the real thing, that you need to sign off and watch somebody else that just shows you a show. <laughs> but anyway, let's say our prayers and y'all read um, Genesis. I love Genesis. Um, and then we are going to show you around the house because we did go shopping today. If you didn't go shopping with us this morning, you should go back and look at what we bought because you're about to get to go around the house and see um, how me and Chris put it together, okay? Um, let's say our prayers, and then we're going to do a tour of the house. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much. We thank you for being able to take people like us and people like Joseph's brothers and Joseph and use us, Lord, however you want to use us because you are God. You are a God that can do whatever you want to that can make whatever you want to make happen. Um, you can make us, you, I mean, we're not puppets, but you can um, bless us and you can use us. And I am thankful for what you do in my life. I am thankful for what you have done in my life. I am thankful for what you're doing in my life. Um, and I praise you. I praise you for saving me. I praise you for living inside of me with your Holy Spirit. I praise you because without you, there would be nothing good about me. And I know that. I praise you because um, I know that I am lowly and filthy and ugly and dirty and fleshly but with you I'm holy I'm beautiful I'm white I'm pure I'm supernatural I am eternal in the heavens and I think Thank you so much for the opportunity that you have given us through your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the sacrifices he's made for us. I thank you for uh, loving us and being a just and holy God. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right. Let's take a look around the house. God is good, ain't he? Thank God God is good because I sure ain't. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? You know what I mean? Jelly bean? All right, let me turn the lights on. These lights were just like shining all over the place. And all right. Now, 
Now, my socks and stuff are in the way, and I've kind of moved some stuff around. Let me throw these away. Now, I will say, I bought some impressed nails. They're terrible. All right, see, they're coming off. Now, they're making some new and improved ones, and apparently the ones I got the other day that lasted two weeks were the new and improved ones because I bought some at Walmart. They were $2 and something. They only lasted two days. They're terrible. They're thin. They bend really easy. They're, they're just terrible. So do not spend your money on them unless the box says new and improved, okay? All right, here's the rugs we picked up today. I got a long blue one and a little one. Okay, this is our bathroom. I just I just have that little thing hung up there, simple. Um, okay, let me fix my shower. I took a shower earlier. So, our bathroom has two uh, sinks. Hey! So, anyway, we put the rugs in here. I bought this little towel bar. I thought it was cute. It hangs right there. These are the little hair things I keep in my hair in. All right, so, the big one. We bought this to go on the wall. So, those are the things I bought that went together. It's a beach. It looks kind of like wood. And it has a mirror behind it. And then uh, the bird picture. I love the two squares. I would have hung them differently. But Chris made me use um, nails that were already in the wall. And he would not, make, he would not let me use uh, new holes. So, I had to hang them right there he would not let me move them because he's Chris and I'm a sweet wife believe it or not so that's what happened so anyway I think it looks pretty good anyway so there we have it our king size bed oh and I bought um this little turtle ain't he cute I just love him and so, I put this in here. I just thought it was cute to, to keep the door propped. This little, I put two little beach towels in it. Those I already had. So, and all of this I already had. But I, but I rearranged today. I put, I put some of my paparazzi jewelry on that. I'm about to stop with y'all and start watching my paparazzi girl. And, um, there's my sailboat. All right, let's keep going. We have a walk-in closet in this room, and we also have a walk-in closet in the restroom. So there's two walk-in closets on this side of the trailer. And we also have, uh, we also have a linen closet as well. See, so we have plenty of space, and this is a walk-in closet. I'm gonna let y'all see it really fast, because it's full of Chris's fish and stuff. And I make him bleach everything. I don't let him bring anything in the house unless it unless it don't smell. I'm real picky. Okay? And so, um, th this is the hallway. He keeps his tools and stuff in here. And then we have a Maytag dryer and a Whirlpool washer. Maytag. And then all this cleaning stuff. Y'all see my barkeeper's friend. And all this stuff here. Now, we have an air fryer down here. Of course, the first one I ever tried. Home is where our boat is. Sandy toes and salty kisses. This is my little stand. I just keep my my, uh, you know, cups and paper plates and stuff like that because this is our little beach home. Look, I got this today to put my aprons on. All right. So, I put this in here. It was in the bathroom. 
I move this back over here. Coffee pot. Fish basket with snacks. Oh, I got um, this today. I thought it'd be pretty on the table. We, I had this fish. I got it at a thrift store and brought it up here. But I got this at Bell's today. And what else did we get, Chris, today? Oh, here's the pillows we got today, girls. How you like them? They look good, don't they? Um, I got the Let's do sunset a uh, little sign say hello mr nichols hello mr nichols he said hello mr nichols he's drinking coffee mm -hmm. ain't he good looking he's my good looking man so i've i've picked up all the extra we've cleaned everything up um all right, I'll show y'all this side. Y'all can see the bathroom. Cause we got this rug today, y'all. Help me pick it out. Shag rug. This is the um, curtain y'all picked out. Let me get back over here so y'all can see. Ow. There's the curtain y'all picked out. There's the towel we picked out. The rug. I put this, this is just a towel, I folded it up today and put here. And these are the little fun things I have on the wall in here. And then I put all of the beach towels behind this door. This is just a cute little bathroom. And I found this little cat door holder open thing so that the air supply don't just make this room just freezing. I have my little scrubbies up there. I'm wash them in the washer. You can wash those in the washer, you know. So, and then this is the last room, y'all. So I made up the beds today. Put my little whales on the beds. Um, my little whales. These I bought on, um, oh, what's the name of that company store? I don't ever buy anything on there hardly ever because it's so expensive unless it's like dirt cheap. So um, this is um, something I bought on there. I bought two of those. So, and this is a little whale thing. It's supposed to hold a picture, but I never put a picture on it. This is our printer down here because we usually bring cookbooks when we come. And this is this bedroom. And look, we got an emoji poo poo in a well but this is our um kids room and there's a sh dolphin but our everything down here this is all the puzzles and our little lizard <laughs> lizard so anyway this is the kids room these little heaters work really really good i'm sure you probably got one and i need to write something on there but i have it and then we got these little bean chairs under the bed. So anyway, it's cute. It should sell now, for sure. Isn't that a pretty little room? We have big bedrooms down here. All right, so bathroom. And then I'll let y'all see the um, sunroom, and that's it. So y'all have seen everything we bought at the store, if y'all went shopping with me. And then some. And then this is the little sunroom out here. So, this trundle actually fits under that bed in the bedroom. Um, but, there's a window air uh, conditioner. It says, friends, welcome, family. And, uh, life is better at the beach. And that's it, y'all. That's it. So anyway, I hope y'all have enjoyed my tour. Um, three hour tour. And I'm gonna go and watch Missy Patty's Paparazzi show. Y'all have a wonderful night. And thanks for watching, Real Southern Woman.
where we love God and we love to shop and we love our husbands. Bye.